Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. I'm gonna show you how to decoupage with no bubbles. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. All right, I've got my Mod Podge and I use the matte. It doesn't matter if it's matte or clear or if you're using a different kind of Mod Podge or um, decoupage glue, doesn't matter. We are gonna put this on my project. Now, if you've been watching the daily vlog, I've been working on this box with this oval inlay that I wanna decoupage um, some project paper on. So this is a really cute, project paper. Um, what I did was I used a piece of cellophane and leftover piece of um, Dollar Tree bag to cut my oval shape out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my template to transfer on my paper so that I can just get the piece decoupaged on the right way the first time, the, hopefully the right size and everything. Um, lucky for me, this method requires the decoupage glue to be dry so I can fit it um, in the oval inlay uh, without too much problem. But let's get this painted on and we'll go from there. All right, so here is my box that I've been working on. I've got it all painted. You can see I've got this in here keeping it from uh, drying shut. But this is the oval that I want to put the project paper in. So the rest of it, it's got some white uh, pearl on it and it's just gonna be a white box with the pink flowers in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to cover the entire surface of this oval with Mod Podge, okay? Okay, I have a nice thick even coat of Mod Podge on there and I'm going to let it dry now um, until it's dry dry. So you don't have to worry about doing anything with it. You can walk away and come back the next day. Just let it dry. Okay, it is well good and dry. Not sticky at all. And I've cut out my piece for the center. So now we're going to get it stuck on there. And I'm going to need both hands for that. So I'm going to put you in a holder. Okay, I have my design placed where I want it. And I am going to put a piece of parchment paper over the top, so you can see. I'm gonna try it. my hand on it. Now I have an iron heating up just by my feet, and I have it set to high. And when I say an iron, I mean a literal clothes iron. So this is the one I keep in the shop for just such occasions. And all you're gonna do is iron it in place. You want to make sure you get the iron over the whole thing and this is a very hot iron so be careful now it should hold and there you are oh, it took some of my paint off at the same time we'll have to fix that like I said, it's a very hot iron, but you can see this is stuck down now. And then we're gonna clear over the top of it and it should be good to go, but I gotta touch this up because I done messed it up. So let me fix that first. Let me get you a better shot of it. So you can see I accidentally, so my, my paint wasn't as dry as it should be. Kind of bubbled up from the heat. I'm gonna fix that. Either that or I can shabby chic it, sand it down a little. You can either fix it up or sand it down, but either way, this needs to be clear coated. So it is stuck down there now, it's not moving. It is stuck to the surface. Um, and then we'll put a clear coat over the top. And when you do that, you wanna put thin layers of clear coat. You can see it's not bubbled at all. And the thin layers of clear coat will make sure that the clear coat doesn't lift it up, but we wanna make sure that this cools off. So right now I can still feel the heat coming off of it. We wanna make sure that that cools and that the glue recures. So basically we soften the glue to stick this down. And now we want to make sure that that cools off and pulls that paper down on top of it. So let's give that a few minutes. Okay. So the top is cool and I'm just going to hit it with um, a little of the glue first, just to make sure 
it's sealed um, before I hit it with the clear coat. I know I said I'd hit it with the clear coat, but I just, I wanna make sure. And there's the finished project. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click the link below. Happy junking everyone. Bye. Visit my blog, PeoniLaneDesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.